Welcome back, everybody, to another Hunter P Games Hype Hideout. If you're just joining me, uh, or if you were coming from the previous video, we just did a reaction to the Diablo 4 announcement trailer. Uh, this is the Diablo 4 official gameplay trailer. The re the, my reaction to the announcement is already up um, at this time, but uh, I haven't seen any of the gameplay yet. I know that it's supposed to be channeling old school Diablo feels. So graphically, I have no idea what this game looks like at the moment. But if it's what I'm envisioning, then I'm, I, I just hope it's what I'm envisioning. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, the gameplay reveal. Whoa, what? This is in game? Wait, what? Whoa, what the heck? What are these cinematics? Whoa. The dream continues to haunt me, old friend. What? It always starts as a journey to a distant land. Okay, so there I can I find the cities in flames. Whoa, wait. Why? Okay, I was like, did they just pull a whole perspective change? I witnessed senseless slaughter, brother against brother. It's definitely Human gritty hatred. now. Oh yeah. Agony. That's surrounded me until my turn come. Oh yeah, and this is my eyes straight D2. I awaken in terror. With no one left to stand against them. I wonder if there's gonna be shots like this. Oh my god, of course. Wow. Wow, you got the character select bonfire. With uh, sorcerer, actually, not wizard, barbarian, druid. Ah, <laughs> look at that beef bear! <laughs> wow, mounts though. What? And you can just attack off your mount. Oh, the werewolf. Oh my god, look at the blood and the dismemberment. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah. What? Is that just straight up Duriel in the maggot layer? Hold, I can't, I'm not going to go back right now, but. <laughs> Whoa. You think me mad, old friend. But I know these dreams. They tell of the future. Is he standing in front of Kane? Hell is coming, brother. Hell is coming. Whoa. She looks sick in her non-bloody baby form. Oh my god. Look at that! <laughs> Hold up, we're going back. Um, let's go back and... Uh, oh yeah, look at... Oh my god, that is like... That is some rogue encampment level... Stuff right there. Let's, let's slow this down a little bit. Okay, alright. Let me get a little audio. Okay. So, that right there is just straight D2. And I'm wondering if they're going to use those. I You could tell looking at the cinematics that it was the, so there was some texture resolution stuff that was much lower. So, I was like, are they really going to do this? Like, have the camera pan around like that? And maybe they will. Like, there's that vista that the barbarian walks towards oh we'll get to that later but i wonder if they're gonna like have cinematic ish moments like that but i was looking at it like zoomed in and i was like okay the level of detail isn't there so it's gotta still be isometric which it is um yeah a lot of like oh my god this is just the imagery is just classic they nailed it i wonder why they went with such a drastic art change up for uh, for D three, 
Like, PS4 can it can handle what this game is putting out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder what 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 the change up was was for, and then like what what convinced them that that this way is the the new or or better way or whatever to go. Wow. Okay. I'm not, I didn't even realize what was happening there. So, I mean, in Diablo 2, you can definitely... or not. I'm sorry, not Diablo 2. In Diablo 3, you, there's definitely moments where, like, most of that map is flat. Uh, you can certainly, like, leap over certain obstacles and, like, down, like... If there's a set of stairs that go down, it kind of it treats every sort of plane height as like the same in regards to traversing things. But like this wouldn't be possible in any other Diablo game. Uh, this kind of like verticality uh, to the map, which is interesting. Um, the character animations are a little rough right now. Uh, you can tell some of these skills are, like, really early. And, like, some of the enemies, too, have a little bit of jank to them. But, uh, I, I've heard we're not getting this game for quite a long time. Um, so they have plenty of dev time left, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, the environments look great. The characters look great. This is what I want to see. Okay, so, you know what? The, the size of the character on screen and the camera, like, perspective and angle is actually very, uh, uh, Path of Exile. Um, I feel like D3 was more zoomed out, or at least it felt more zoomed out than this is. I feel like your character has a much larger presence on screen, which is nice. Uh, this I want to see. Hold on. How is this, does, does she actually, like, cleave them in half? can't tell it's very hard to tell i think yeah yes yes she does yeah she does that's awesome look at the gibbs gone out too <laughs> they're just like bloody sticks but i guess they're bones in real time that looks ridiculous though <laughs> hold on let me go back i want to play this in real time yeah that that looks awesome that is an appropriate amount of, of blood. They got climbing traversal stuff in, which is neat. That is interesting. I noticed it the first time, but I didn't call it out because I wasn't entirely sure. I think this is them saying that PvP is finally a thing. Because uh, that looks to be just a sorcerer. Uh, she climbed up the rocks, which is like clearly a player thing that you would do and then when he kills her like that's a non-traditional death animation so i'm wondering if like he's invaded a game uh if they have the d2 style like toggle for pvp or something um that'd be very cool so this they are in a maggot layer Hold on, you can see some of the enemies in this room. They're, like, trying to hide it. They're being cheeky buggers about it. Hold on. Hold on, we can make this out. So the werewolf does a hit. Yeah, he's fighting some kind of bug in the top left there. Uh, this is definitely... If it's not the same maggot layer, it's... Yeah, there we go, see? It's, like, totally a maggot right there that he's hitting up there. So this is absolutely a recreation of it. Um, but it looks like Duriel is in here. Oh, there's a maggot right there, just in front. Uh, is this, like, legitimately Duriel? It is, right? It's, like, the exact same. So, I'm gonna say Duriel's just straight up back. Uh, wait, what? Hold up! This is the stuff I like when you're pouring through trailers. Was that intentional, or did that guy screw up? Hold on. You'll see what I mean in a second. There's just so much going on that it's it's hard to catch things sometimes. So did he pin him against the wall? Oh, did he instant kill that guy? Hold on, let's go back. Oh, yeah, so here in the bottom left, 
we've got a player character, right? He gets impaled by Duriel. And then he just straight up eats him. Puts him in his gut. I wonder if that's just like a kill move or it's an instant kill move. Like you were a, you were dead anyway when you got hit by that. So then he finishes you off by eating you or if that's like straight up instant kill. That's crazy. There's a lot to unpack in this trailer. Also, I want to get a nice shot of uh, of uh, Lilith at the end here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we've got him fighting the, the big dude. Got these exploder guys. Yeah, that. What is that? Hold on. That is an angel. Possibly corrupted by Lilith's power. Look where they are right now. There's Templars uh, or Paladins, perhaps, that are, like, in this environment. It's more of a holy space. Uh, that looks like straight-up angel. It's got a cross on it. It has kind of bloody wings. I don't know. That might be hinting at, like, an angel getting corrupted. And then she just looks insane. Uh, I honestly hope Diablo doesn't make an appearance in this game at all. Uh, I really want them to play her up as the main baddie. That's a really good look. That's a crazy good look. Anyways, that was my deep dive into the trailer for you all. Uh, I'm excited about it. It looks really good. Um, it looks like there's a lot of... A lot of good changes coming. Now we just need to see, did they fix the skill system? Uh, what's the end game? <laughs> but that'll come much, much later, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, if you like my reaction, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you want to go see other reactions like it, like the reaction I did to the announcement cinematic trailer, that is over on the channel. You can go check that out if you want. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.